Yeah, so we back with episode 9, Tag Magazine Podcast, and I got a special, special, special guest. I promised y'all we bringing all creatives to the town, you know what I mean? Whether it's clothing, movies, music, singing, whatever it is. So tonight, we got what you might want to call, how could I say? You know, like 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 uh, uh, in Patterson, we got certain men like the pitcher man. You see Ricky, you know he the pitcher man. You know what I'm saying? You see a certain, you know he box. This guy right here is known for playing the drums and with them sticks. You know what I'm saying? Craig Redman and C Dreams. Right, all right, all right, all right. What's up? Yeah, How you doing, what's man? On? What's going on? Cause I can I say cuzzo. Yeah, you can say cuzzo. You know, we're gonna keep it real. We're gonna keep, it real. We're gonna keep it real in our tag match. Right. But yo, look, right. I told you I was gonna get you up here. I needed yes, to get you. you. I know you was like, what is he talking about? Yeah. Podcast, whatever. <laughs> but I'm glad. I, you know, this interview reminded me of like I did an interview with Monique, you know, the comedian, and it's right. like a little right. off brand. So I, I don't want to say I'm nervous, but it's still music in in the right. scene. But it's so easy for me to do hip hop. Right. You know, so okay. when we doing something else, but anything with the arts, I'm sure it's gonna go well. Plus, I know you. So um. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm 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 happy. It's an honor that you even taking out the time from your busy schedule, <clears throat> you know, to share yeah. some things with everybody. <laughs> um, you know, and I'm I, I'm 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 just as excited as you are. All right, look. So look, man. Let, 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 let's let's say they taking the arts out the schools, different things. Where and how did you? Let's start from the beginning. How did you grow up? You know, in your household. On uh, like, what what motivated you? What type of music did you listen to? What did you see that made you want to like become a, a drummer or just you know? Well, when you talk about start, um, you know, me sound ancient, and I'm I'm proud to let them know I was born in 1966. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, currently, you know, I'm now 54 years old. Born and raised in Patterson, went to public school in Patterson. What public um, school you went to in Patterson? I started out. Uh, that's gonna be another story, but <laughs> I started out in school twenty. All yeah, right. Ended east up side. in grammar school. Uh -huh. Yeah, in the east side. Mm -hmm. But um, I had to leave there in the third grade. Um, had to leave there, and I got transferred over to school four. But right. I was um, classified. You yeah, know, so you like eight years old, maybe seven, uh, eight. maybe around there, yeah, about yeah. seven, eight. And but it was a school in Bassett called Bunker Hill. I don't know if you remember Bunker Hill. <laughs> well, they gonna remember. I got some um, subscribers that's love. They know you was about about it when you went to Bunker Hill. Mm. Crazy and all, you can yeah. say whatever. But we were very intelligent. It's just that people didn't yeah. know how to deal with us. You talk in nineteen seventy six, seventy seven. Mm. Yeah, that's when I was um, born. Yeah, talking <laughs> then. Um, but we're gonna get to that. Yeah, we're yeah. Gonna, so gonna, it's gonna, safe to say you got over forty because I know you wasn't playing when you was four years old. I don't know, but you got over forty years of yeah, probably absolutely. playing the drums, right? I probably started. Um, it started years. everything that you asked and you mentioned. It started at home. Mm. All my heroes came from my household. Mm. Came from my family. Mm. Came from both sides of the family: the Smiths, Redmonds family. Yeah. Um. My mom's side, my dad's side. How many so, siblings you like in your fa in the family? Oh my I god, know, it was actually eight of us. Eight. Um, we have eight of us. Um, you know, um, it was actually boys, girls. Um, yeah, it was actually four girls and four boys. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, but I never got a chance to meet um, one of my sisters, uh, Gwyneth. Um, mm -hmm. But um, rest in peace. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, my older sister, uh, she was a twin. But um, all my heroes, when it come down to any and everything that I grab, grab to, mm -hmm. excuse me, as a young man, um, and you talk about music, my yeah. uh, mother was a pianist and a great singer. Mm -hmm. really? My father was a great washboard player, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And he did uh -huh. piano also and a choir director. Um, all my work ethics and everything that I gravitated to came from home. And then I can truly say I got a chance to be in a household with a recording artist, which was my oldest brother, mm. Henry. Henry was the first recording artist in the family. Okay, so your oldest brother, yeah. Yeah, Henry. And, and those was my heroes. Like, far as music-wise, and Daryl, just me and him was together and, then, and going to plays. And when it came out to the arts mm -hmm. and, and plays and musical plays and... Watching them and going to the competition and 
Um, I just gravitate to everything around me. Um, even um, believe it or not, this is true. My brother Art, mm -hmm. Arthur, was yeah. the one that really introduced me to open me up to jazz. He was bringing the albums in the house. He was he introduced me to jazz. He was bringing albums in the house. I was strictly gospel. No, okay. You know, I grew up okay. in the church, so yeah. I started out playing and, and watching. My brother Henry, who was my first hero in, in the percussions and the drum, yeah. and my dad played a washboard. Um, and when I got my chance, I kind of I followed those footsteps. My mm -hmm. brother was always professional. And, yeah. And what he did, um, always, always. Right? So I say you have to credit Henry. Yeah, Henry yeah, for like yeah. really, really with absolutely, the, with the stick. absolutely. Yeah. Before I started seeing the other people, but now I was mm -hmm. listening to other drummers. Yeah, you know, I was listening to other drummers and didn't know them. Then I got a better understanding. Um, Omaha King, with, with, back then with, with with a band called Weather Report. Mm. Um, man. Awesome song. gospel band. No, no, it was a jazz band. Jazz band, Weather, band, Weather Report. Report. All right. Um, then you know, Art bringing um, Spiral Gyro in, and then we grew up listening to that Chuck Mangione, Henry Parker, Henry Parker, I think it was the drummer that was um, playing for him, had great chops. But before that, I was I was listening to the Hawkins, um, you know, um, gospel, um, listening to the Hawkins and Andre Crouch um, with um, uh, Andre Crouch um, drummer was um, oh my God, Mac, Bill Maxwell, mm -hmm. it's a white guy named Bill Maxwell. I love his feels. I even do his feels now. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, when you he, say feels, because I want to get everybody, I'm a little familiar, uh, but okay. with the lingo, when you okay. t explain okay. it to everybody, when well, you say feels. When I say feels, I'm, I'm speaking on the percussion terms. Um, if you kick in the groove that you're getting ready to spit some, some words to, you got your basic beat. You got your, you got your foot, boom. Right? Do you get your hi hat? You gonna go with sixteenth notes or eighth? Or whatever you gonna do? Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. say sixteenth. Right? Mm -hmm. Now you going with the snare. Now fills are the in between. Fill it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Those are the fills. So you copy right? fills. Let me ask you this before I forget. And I, they say I cut people off. I'm trying to. When did you learn to read? Music, because it sounds like you said, no, like you can't, well, can you read well, actually, music? Well, oh, absolutely. All right. Now, so, so well, that came along now. in Not life. in church. That came, no, that came See? later. Um, the gift of music was there. Um, it just started getting developed in church. Um, Refuge Temple Church of God in okay. Christ in Inglewood. God bless her in the late Ella Kitchen. Yeah, shout out to Refuge always Temple, Always going to be yeah. my mentor. That, that was the church I, I, I came up in, you know what I'm saying, absolutely. as a, as a yeah, youngster. I wanted you to say that. I didn't want to say I learned. Nah, we keep it real on Tag yeah, Mag Podcast, and I learned a lot about, you know, the Bible there, right. you know what I mean? Because right. a lot of people talk about a lot of stuff, but they don't have no knowledge of it. Right. So you need right. to know what you're talking about when you're talking about something. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And real quick, not to jump off subject, but your family, everybody, and I know because it's my family, plays an instrument or either sings or something, because you run out of the eight. Maybe I'm gonna say five or six. Yeah, Got to do absolutely. something. And this is, this so is, so let's start with um Henry Junior. We already know he sparked you. He played keys, right? No, he, he plays played, drums. He, 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 with drums, he played a little bit of piano. Oh, but he's a percussionist, a drummer, and a vocalist. And a vocalist. Uh huh. All and, right. Um, he just really sparked we, me because again, seeing it, um, going to choir anniversaries back then when I was growing up in, in Patterson mm -hmm. was awesome because Gilmore Memorial was Gilmore Memorial. Mm -hmm. They had a big choir. Oh, hell, they had a yeah. different style. Yeah, yeah. Creatures Temple had a, a, a aggressive style. Mm. Um, Talk about it. <laughs> um, um, let's see. Um, Bible Way had their own style mm -hmm. back then. Then you had Highway. Yeah. Jesus Christ, um, God, and um, then you had um, um, All Christian Tabernacle. Everybody yeah. had different styles. So it's like they was not battling, but no, it used to be. But it was it used still to there. Be. It's, so, it was, yeah. it's always you always had to be on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a chance to see my brother play at the choir anniversary because when Refuge Temple came, you know, believe me, they can talk yeah, but, and say but, what they want. That's right. But when they came, uh -huh. we ain't come to play around. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The washboard man was in the room. Yeah, yeah. You know, and my that, big it, papa, it, my father. It's something thing, with the roots. Rabbits. With the roots. I always think that washboard is deeply rooted, not with just slavery, but with black people. Like, how, like just to make music or notes with something that you didn't even have a... Tool, tool. You know what I mean. I always right. saw that as like um, 
No, I don't want to say slavery. You see what I'm trying to say? Well, like, he marked root, that. Root he, he got in that the country. Was really, like, yeah, that, that was really big in Georgia where he grew up. In country, he actually, yeah, back. He actually grew up in Georgia, so he saw it in the mm -hmm. churches, in the Church of God mm -hmm. Christ in Georgia. Them playing a washboard, a wash tub, um, maybe a snare drum, mm -hmm. and a hi hat or something. If, like if y'all can imagine, if it, I'm not a beatboxer, but it's like that. <laughs> You, man. Like it, it rhythm, used to be like that, but he, he used was, to be oh listen, man in the beat in filling in filling the beat. It was, was crazy, yo. He was <laughs> he used to kill it, yeah. Cause I used to sit front row. You know, I always like sitting by the drum. You know, I used to sit right by you, Craig, so I could see, so I ain't fall oh, asleep man. in it. I used to be like right up there on nice, you, nice. yo. But let me let's go down to um even your other brother Daryl. Man, I love man. to hear Daryl sing. Man, amazing. He, he man. plays the keyboard. Um, yeah, keyboard player. Um, he taught me. A lot about um, just my music theory, you know. He did it. He taught me a lot on being around him, watching him, and getting. He, he didn't know he was preparing me mm -hmm. uh, for the things that I have done and I'm doing now. All of them, you know, none of them didn't know. Um, he prepared me. He knew, you know, when we got together. Um, he really trained me before I even went to college and took vocal lessons. And I took music lessons in high school also, um, but it carried over. But I was being trained. Um, I never was in the choir at Redmond. I always played drums. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when the Redmonds formed, and um, we were we weren't even Redmonds yet. We were Restoration, and then we became the Redmonds. Mm -hmm. um, he taught me in rehearsal how to um, hold about vocals, how to hold my breath, mm -hmm. diction, mm -hmm. pronounce my words, notes, tones. Mm -hmm. So you, um, so you would say you're not the best of the singer, but you can hold the note. You oh, know how to I'm, make I'm it. But see what people don't realize, make... or people fail to realize now, people think I'm a percussion major. No, I'm a vocal major. So oh, singing, okay. I, I, and we're gonna get to that. Too. And, and speaking of singing, one of the most beautiful. Uh, look, if when you talk Refuse Temple, one of the most beautiful voices. If beautiful is a word, like Keith Murray, <laughs> Mildred. Oh, your, absolutely. Your sister, absolutely. Daily miss her. Um, the, um, in the singing. whole well, family. We, 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 we was, Dow is the, is the key master of all of it when it comes out of vocals. Mm. Um, regardless of um, he trained her also. Yeah, you right. Know, yeah. And he trained her also. We were getting trained in the basement, in the room. We practiced a lot how to uh, mix my notes, how to mm. balance your notes out, yeah. how, not to, how to hold your breath. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, and just different little things, little little things that I learned. And I know before. you can hear Mildred upstairs if she's in the basement. I could still see Listen. how her tongue used Listen. to be like, but like if you understand Listen. what I'm saying, how she's uh, like, I could still see how she used to yeah. sing as a little kid, yeah. just watching, like. Yeah. In awe, almost like, hey, but listen, that her voice shaped, shaped the room. I was on the floor with her. It shaped the room. It it made a whole lot of things a lot better. Um, when we hit the floor, you know, yeah. being on the floor with three dynamic singers, you know, like Mildred, Henry, Dow, you know, I, I hold my down in the background. They yeah, gave me yeah, a verse yeah. or two back then, mm -hmm. but um, it was all a, a learning process. But I love it. I love it. I love this. It. Yeah, and Tanya got a voice too. Tanya, Tanya's oh, the singing that quiet Tanya, too. Tanya, you can hear Tanya. Tanya. Sung with the group. Singing shy, yeah. You no, know, Tanya's yeah, a you great can hear Tanya. Tanya's an awesome singer too. She can yes. hold hers down. Yep. She hold it down. She hold it down. But like I said, it's strange we talked about all this because. When they come out to my life, everybody played a part of it. Mm. And art really plays a part of it, you know. Shout um, out to Coach Redman. Yeah. <laughs> he played a big part, <laughs> making me listen to these jazz albums. And I just fell in love with the style, mm -hmm. the artistry and everything, you know, when it came down to it. Like I said, gospel, you know, I was brought up on. And, you know, mm -hmm. we was listening to that contemporary gospel way before a lot of people was around mm -hmm. us. Now people just listening to stuff that yeah. people listening to in Unless the 80s. And, and let's not to cut you off. Let's get into this before we break, because I know next segment I want to get into your album that you got. We nice. gonna promote that. Uh huh. And it cold, goes back to what we were saying, whether you answered or not. Reading music. Now look, listen. I didn't forget. I want to talk about the band in school. Did you start reading music round when you start going into the band? Yeah. Or, um, or, well, talk I, about I, it. I I I was in the band. I love um, which high school? I was at um, Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy. Kennedy. Night time. Yeah, yeah Kennedy. I'm, a night. Right. I'm a night, baby. I'm a night. I'm a night. I'm a night forever. That's right. You know, I play, and what people don't realize, I didn't um, join the band there until my junior year because I played ball. Oh, okay. I was a, see, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was, yeah, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was a hell of an athlete. 
People yeah, no, nah, I didn't. I didn't. I, I, didn't know. I, I played all four years. I just didn't play my senior year because I had a baby and I just walked away. I had made the team and everything. When I walked away, Cosm had my name on the, um, the wall. Mm -hmm. I played with Jerome Smart and, and, and Calvin Freeman. Yeah, I know Smart. Yeah, we all played together. I started. I, never, what, I don't know what it how is. How was that team then? What year was that? We was 80, that, what, what, what year oh, was that? Oh man, we we won the JV tournament. Uh, -huh. that's how good. we won the JV tournament. My, I'm gonna get there. My, we were setting it up. Um, yeah. My 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 sophomore and junior year. So I got came in in '81. I graduated in '85. So '84, '83, yeah, 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 like yeah, that. Because yeah, like, yeah. we play, I played freshman, which was at school five back then, but. I don't know if you remember Willie Rollins and Cat. I mean, you know, I don't know. If I'm you remember. a big cat. Yeah, yeah. Cat, I remember I was, Willie we Rollins. all went to school. To and not not, not to cut you off real quick. I got a surprise for y'all, all y'all all nighttime basketball player fans. I got a special <laughs> show for y'all, and I just set it up the other day. But anyway, keep going, yeah. keep going. So you know, so I you end my, up not playing ball. Here. I didn't. I didn't. What well, people realize, I didn't play ball my senior year because I was already a father by that time. Mm -hmm. I was a junior but you year. did the band. How you? Go I joined the band. Then mm -hmm. they've been trying to get me to play in the band, but I did. I did not. I joined the band. Yeah, yeah. My last year, I finally and I did the spring concert. Mr. Palmer was one of the best. Um, like I said, I take nothing away from Mr. Mm -hmm. um, Pete Nelson because we all work together. Yeah. Yeah. We all was in the jazz band, and we all we worked together with each other. We all went to Rutgers together. Back Needless then. to say, but what did you play? I know it's a couple drums in here. You got no, the, the well, I, I wound up playing I, drums, but I also had to sing in the choir. You see, back then you couldn't be it just in the you couldn't be just in the um man. You had to join the music club. Period. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I sung in the choir with Miss Powell, Rob Rest her soul. Rest um, we all sung. We had spring concerts. The art and spring concerts, we had to wear tuxedos. Mm -hmm. Then we had the band. We played, I played in the, the concert, spring concert band. But see, I How went many? to high school with three, a lot of powerful, powerful um, people um, in, in, the, in the arts as of now. Mm -hmm. Greg Thomas, we went to high school together. Ricky, Ricky Simpson, mm -hmm. went, to, went to high school together. Um, Kevin Lewis, um, he had a stanza. Um, she's a year after us, but um, they, um, for Rob, we all went to high school together. Let me ask you this. How many members was in the band then? Oh, we had a big one. 60? We had more. More than 60 people we in the band? We had more. I got the book. I got the, I got my yearbook over there mm -hmm. to show you. Well, I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture and we take, take a, a picture, picture and everybody could look at it and, yeah. and, and but remind got, me. Because matter of fact, the picture yeah. I'm going to show you is the morning of Thanksgiving before we marched down. The Thanksgiving game. Yeah, we, we came just, down that hill. We, we used to come just, down that yeah, hill had, from the school, just, right? Yeah, we, 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 would, we would go straight across. Yo, did y'all still used to play this? Oh, we had, we, we had stuff. You got to remember, we, you got to remember, um, Palmer was really musical. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody, everything. Listen, listen, listen. You you can't have two bands playing the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, it don't yeah. It just don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know people, you know, but, and listen, I'm going to pat a song. I know you want to talk about, you know, this, you know, East Side. I, I mm -hmm. love it. But <laughs> you can't have two bands playing. Everybody playing. How boring would that be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? So we did it. We, we, we did it. it down we showed, nasty nights we showed, <laughs> we showed um, um, mu musicianship, you know. We didn't yeah. have no problems. We didn't fought each yeah. other. We didn't do that. We had fun. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we had jazz concerts. We wound up going to records together that year, my senior year. With um, Isan and Kenny, so we were all friends. You know? So, so two questions. Still, when so when did you start the reading the music? I started reading music like I said, my senior year. Okay. My senior year. Uh, uh, so the first year you got in the band, you had to read in order to know how to. You had to. All right, okay. Start, okay. It started yeah. here, but now don't get me wrong. When I walked into it, all I was using was the gift, my gift, yeah. like my know-how. Mm. You know, um, but as time developed, yeah. you know, right after high school. When I realized I had to make a decision of what I want to do, excuse me, be into sports or go p pursue my music. I love my music, mm -hmm. you know, so I wanted to pursue that. And I started falling in love with jazz and all. Um, and it wasn't, the reading really helped me out when I started teaching. Because you got to remember, yeah. I went from that until um, God saw fit to allow me. I did a couple of workshops um, mm -hmm. when I started working for the um, Board of Education. Um, I did a workshop for Kennedy, Mr. Gordon, Mr. G. Gordon hired me in 2000 
in 2000, 2001, I did a, a drug clinic for them there. Mm -hmm. Then I wound up getting hired. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wound up being, uh, I wound up five years, five, seven years. Yeah. I worked at um, Kennedy, I was a marching band see, uh, drug instructor. That, that, that's, that's a perfect story because see, you're a professional. And what I mean by that is you, you make money to do what you love to do. So you, I, you don't know if you know, but I look up to you for that. Like, yo, Craig, man, I see him Bless every man. day from like he used to play in the church. Now he, he, I see you with the kids. I see yeah. you with the band, Doing the it, sessions man. you do at the high schools, everything. But and I see you making money, and I don't think that was your purpose. No, but no, the money no, just can't. The money gonna be there because people gonna pay you for your talent and Absolutely. what you are. Absolutely. So right now you're you're blessed. You're winning. You're winning, and you ain't gotta be the biggest. Mm -hmm. I always say that about my career. I don't mm -hmm. gotta be the biggest millionaire. I ain't trying to be broke neither. But at the end of the day, if I'm happy doing what I'm doing, right? I'm good. Because let me go. Well, well, let me plug into that. Mm -hmm. All that generated from um, faith in the prayers of my my grandparents uh, and my parents. Um, mm -hmm. God said He'll make room for your gift. Um, and he did just that for me, just like he did it for you. Um, but I'll let you tell your testimony. I'm going to tell mine. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when Please. I wasn't in my rightful place as mm -hmm. a, as a man, young, being a young father, I remember having, I'm going to give this story and I hope that it helps somebody, um, Please. in their life because as I was growing, playing music, doing this, getting older, being a young dad, junior year and having a son, um, you sometimes you can think you you can think that you bless like they do with videos you put out this false pretend you know in life you know fake money or whatever mm -hmm. facade. Until, it, right this facade and you know i was young but being young and going through challenges one thing i think thank god for is my parents i don't care what happened they kept us in church mm -hmm. they kept us because you can go and not act like you don't want to be there, but you're listening. And mm -hmm. You're, you're going to catch reason. something. Yeah. You're catch so something I like caught that. a lot of things, but God had to show me when I was a young man. I remember it was a time where I didn't have any um, equipment. Mm. I was. I, I remember it was a time. It seemed, like, it seemed like I couldn't even get a snare drum <laughs> because my life was all over the place. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trusting him. I wasn't putting my life in the rightful place mm -hmm. so he can be a blesser to me, blessing to me, and I can be a blesser to yeah. music. So I'm, I'm sharing this to anybody who's listening. If you're serious and dedicated about anything that you love, until you become dedicated to it and thinking the high, the higher power, whatever you believe in, whoever you believe in, I'm going to speak for me. That's right. When I start trusting God and really believe and realizing nothing is not working for me, because I wasn't in my rightful place as a man as at all. Mm -hmm. And I still fight them. But until I start understanding the principles of sowing seeds mm -hmm. um, in my life, just going to church, like I said, I never stopped going to church. Mm -hmm. um, um, being a blessing, paying my tithes and offering, being a servant, and using my gift in the right way, he opened up floodgates. If I take that camera and stick it on the other side of that wall and all the equipment that I have, that's my own. I, I give God thanks. Mm -hmm. I got more instruments than I can imagine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, there's no goodness of my own. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's because, and then when I got them, I used them in the rightful way. I didn't use them to harm anybody. I yeah. used them to serve. Whether I'm serving the church or in the community. When yeah. I do a party, people, I'm serving. Yeah. Even though they can pay for it, yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, giving you a service. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, I would like, if you're going to a, a concert right now for a million people, you're still serving them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, you're going to say something to touch their life. Somebody. Some, yeah, to yeah, somebody. Yeah. You're there for a reason. So I'm only, and I'm going to get back to me. Um, so um, if anybody, when they see this, like I said, whatever your belief is, I'll only give you my testimony and my story. I'm giving God thanks. For what he has done, what he brought me through, where you know, when he starts saying things like, Oh, yeah, you know, you, you know, you making money off, yeah, I thank God. He said, Um, a man that works to take care of his family, it's a blessed thing. Mm -hmm. I had a child, I had to, you know, I, I, I didn't have time to play around for fun. And um, when I start blessing, paying my tithes and offering, God start be the yeah, blessing. Back in to me. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. and then not that I was looking for, but he always made room for it, you yeah. know, a study gig um but i had to go through certain things but i can say this every man or woman is worth their hire 
especially when you when you sharpen your craft. You mm -hmm. know, every man put them hours first. in like that, and it's yeah. forty years over. Yes. Yeah, you a master. We call that a master. Uh, every 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 man and woman is is, before, is worth their hire. And before we gonna go into a break for part one, we gonna come back. But before we do that, one more question about the the with the band. Mm -hmm. Because today is just a different time. I want to ask you, like, one time I did a song back, like, 07. Uh -huh. And it was called Eastside, Me and Tone. Mm -hmm. And it had, like, this band to it. And I went to Eastside, and I got the band director, like, oh, yeah, I like the song. You could go on the, you know, it was for this pep rally thing. It's a crazy story. But it's changed a lot. Well, why do you think the bands in Patterson Kennedy, there's certain, well, well, why do you, you think it's depleted you, and so, I don't want to say sloppy, it's just you, not. You, you said it. Yeah. Can, I, can, I, can I throw something at you then that we'll a lot of break. people may not be paying attention to about Patterson? You, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to say this, and I tell the kids this, and, and it's going to be probably a lot of people who may disagree. Nah, say what you got to say. I'm going to say it like truth. this. This is a different Patterson. The projects are gone. Mm. Okay. Eastside had a lot of Alabama Project kids mm -hmm. that was hungry, that wanted to do things, that were gifted and talented. Shout out to the fam. All right. Mm -hmm. Kennedy had a lot of CCP kids mm -hmm. that had wanted something to, to do. Get out, and guess to what? The music teachers the were TCP. not afraid to go there back then to recruit kids. Mm -hmm. Okay? They, were, they, were, they weren't afraid. Like the coaches. Collins wasn't afraid mm -hmm. to go down to Rest the Project. Rest Collins, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, no, Mr. Baker wasn't afraid to go to the Alabama Project mm -hmm. back then because kids needed something to do. So now it's a different... You don't know what you're getting. Mm. I mean, I, listen, um, let's fast forward. After I did kidney, it, it changed from the time I did kidney for seven years. We was going to competition and everything. Mm. It was a different How many kids. members at that time? Oh, man, we, we was going to competition and everything. We had a bunch of kids. This oh. was, I, I, I started, when I started, I had my oldest son, who's 35 now, mm -hmm. in, in high school, and, mm. and, and Shell. And Shell was in the band then. When I ended, Christian was graduating high school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did it for seven years hard, strong. Yeah. By, by the time Christian got out and I did my last Thanksgiving game, um, I knew it. I said, mm -hmm. things okay, changed. Okay. The, 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 system, the system had changed. A lot of politics being yeah. played in the board of in, education, in the board. you know, in the board back then. They're not That's thinking about... It wasn't mm, thinking about the kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now. Them instruments, that right, budget, that right, time. Right, right, right that, now. Oh, right now, people look, People think that it's so magical that somebody's going to come and have all this fluff stuff. That's my next I, question. I, do you see it getting I, I, I don't. I don't need a lot of fluff. Just give me the kids, and I'll recruit mm -hmm. them, and we can make this happen. Y'all heard them? Y'all hear them? So anybody looking at this, because i got a couple political people that be watching. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, man. Look, right now it's paper. Bring the arts it's, back, it's, man. It's paper. It's paper sitting Strong. on the desk since June. Probably because, because the late um, Dr. Glisson um, hired me last year mm -hmm. as a music director in the band. Yeah, I mean, that that money ain't on the table no more. Craig. Um, <laughs> that money, but, but, stop, I, but it's stop. not even that. It's about the kids. Like somebody, and, and again. So we just home. I'm yeah, going, I'm yeah, going, yeah. I know. I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm, telling I'm, you that about you gone. Especially I'm, I'm, if they was pushing for that. I'm born Maybe and I raised. Too much tea. Where they where they fully <laughs> realize? I sit back. They're gonna be shocked about this interview. I sit back and I watch all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything go on. I'm born and raised here in Paris. Born mm -hmm. and raised. Went to school here. Went to special ed here. I watch all this. These new people here talk about Patterson and do all this. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm actually a graduate, and they see this and they know it. I'm a graduate from the 05 class of the leadership of Patterson. Mm. They, they, yeah, they, when they when they look this up, we don't get in there a lot. And mm. that was I was put in there in that for a reason back then. But I'm not going to get into that. Right. That was so, a political move that they paid for me to go into this class as somebody from the county. But um, I, I'm not a yes person. Yeah. I, but it was educational for a whole year. We studied Patterson with a group of all other folks. Mm -hmm. Um, for a whole year. See, people don't look at that. I let all these other folks walk, run around. And just, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been doing my workshop for 20, 25 years. I've been wow. doing, I don't feel as though I have to get in somebody's lane and stand outside in the cold and, and I'm, I'm getting older and do certain things. That that's what God gave you to do. You do it. Mm -hmm. I support you with my prayers. Mm -hmm. because I think, I think, and what we believe in, because a lot of people know we, I'm 5 percent but investing in the youth is the best thing you can invest in. You know what I mean? And what you're doing, doing years, with the man. kid, and that's the been, best been, thing been you doing can get it, Been to. doing it for years. That's I've been doing it for years. Without all the fluff, like I said, 
with all the, without all the fluff and everything else because God is my keeper, mm -hmm. you know, and he's been keeping me. Um, I took kids to the Apollo Theater um, mm -hmm. and, and struggled to get a bus and kids were so excited. I took wow. them there for competition. We had garbage cans we played on. Captain Lee Griffin was there, <clears throat> Al Sharpton. I took kids from North mm -hmm. Maine from School 28 in the third and fourth grade went there then they're still talking about it these kids a matter of fact the basketball coach i believe at east side now mr pilgrim was in that group mm -hmm. i mean it was a long yeah. time ago but i had great kids yeah and um still yeah. it's it's not over you know it's that's not right. over that's I, right i don't i don't feel as though i have to force myself on somebody if mm -hmm. you feel as though you want to go and do it, i did it for the summer the recreation never had a drum program I mm -hmm. just did it this past summer. No, you didn't know that, did no, you? No, I didn't. I did a whole but I, I watch your page and I see you with, with the kids and I doing a little, whole, they sitting I down and whole, they, and it's like, man, you did telling them, you got one demonstrating what I, he learned. I and did a watch. whole drum program for this past so, summer, the COVID summer, <laughs> mm. COVID-19 yeah. summer. I, it, God blessed me to do a, a, a wonderful one. And I give a big shout out to Benji Wembley and Deke Hill. Shout out to um, Wembley. And, yeah. and re Recreation. And Hill. Um, and um, it was awesome. Now yeah. we were coming to the camp yeah. at the end because I was bringing my kids from Faith Chapel. Mm -hmm. I do a camp there. So, but this was different. And I, I, did, I went to every camp, try to build one big drum corps. But I wound up finding two groups, Eastside Park and School Thirteen, and we did something, and it was awesome. It, mm -hmm. it was, it was intense. I don't pull no punches with them. I had parents coming. You in. ever made the paper newspaper? Oh yes, many times. Look, yeah, look, you deserve. Look, look at you the deserve. Day. You deserve. Um, uh, if you look to uh, your, if a you look lot to of your, your left, all those right there. Oh, I just see it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over now, was, even was, even National Night Out. We yeah. did National Night Out Have two times. Yeah. Well, I do it for Nancy Greer and the Greer family. I brought the drum line down there twice. Yeah, we yeah. I even performed with you. I don't know if it was National Night Out one time. We performed for one July. Yeah, yeah, for oh, July. July. Yeah, July. Um, but on Main Street. Man. I want to have an unplug. I, we gonna talk about that off camera, man. I need to get this unplug with the band niggas. It's not going to like this. Hey, yo, well, I want you to introduce Dreams video. Then we gonna come back um with part two, and we gonna get into get to know me. So introduce Dreams. Well, Dreams is something that I did years ago. It was um filmed by um, Jamal Hall, and um, I love it. It was um, actually you can you can you can get it off. Shout of out to Jay Hall. Yeah, you can get it off of combinations, and it's something because everybody has dreams, and I should, yeah. I would I would like to tell you to hold on to your dreams and pursue them, get in your rightful place, and hold on to your dreams. And my dream is just to make good music for people, no matter what what gender, no matter what race, what color, what size, doesn't matter. Mm. Dreams, good music, and it, this was written and um, by my brother Dal Redman, and it was produced by me. Shout out Pastor Redman. Tag.